Not too long ago, a great conflict arose around an idea. One so revolutionary, it could change the world. It brought terror to the minds of those who chose a side. It brought great thinkers to their knees. Created a schism that would divide Europe and soon, the world. Calculus. Okay, so maybe it isn't that dramatic, but the clash between British Newton and the German Leibniz on the subject of calculus did cause some conflict. These two men are credited to creating the basis of the calculus we know and love today. Now, just because they are associated with the same math doesn't mean that they liked each other. It was far from that. It all started when Newton came up with his method of fluxions, as he later called it. Newton began his work in 1666. Now, Newton didn't want people to know about his new discovery, so he shared it with only a few close friends and waited just long enough for guess who? Leibniz to attempt this new art. It was 1674 and Leibniz started his discoveries on differentials using a completely different notation than Newton. His discoveries were published in 1684 as Nova Methodus Pro Maximus et Minimus. The first writing on infinitesimal calculus and described some of the methods for calculating derivatives. At first, Leibniz was given full credit for calculus, but that would not last long. Newton acted fast-ish and published part of his work in the first part of Principes of Mathematica in 1687, but only used geometrical proofs with little standard notation and did not give a full explanation until 1704. This publication was described as being nearly all about calculus by L'Hopital. The first accusations against Leibniz were in 1699, and the big fight would last another 12 years of angry letters and accusations. Newton was not happy at all. He decided to make sure that he would be known as the only inventor of calculus. He had been conveniently put as the president of the Royal Society in 1703, so somehow the Royal Society started a committee of Newton's followers to investigate and put out a statement written by the collective committee, Newton, stating that Newton was the sole creator of calculus. This was spread around Europe, and soon, enough people believed the Royal Society instead of a man who had resorted to working as a librarian. In the end, both men are remembered for creating calculus, and there have been many more contributions throughout history to make this math what it is today. <laughs>